In this video, we are going to talk about structure data validation error that we see in Search Console. So we will try to understand what these errors are, why they occur, and most importantly, what are the steps we can take to rectify them and to avoid them altogether. So we will cover all that in this video. So let's dive in. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to Magazine 3 YouTube channel where we talk about everything related to WordPress. If you want to learn more about that, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our new video. So in the last few videos in this series of schema markup for beginners, we have covered how we can add different kind of schema markup on our WordPress website. So we have covered how to schema, FAQ schema, news, recipe schema and local business schema as well. So while adding all these schema markup on our WordPress website and when we do that and then submit that website or that blog post or that page in search console so that the search engines can index that page with our schema markup added on it. We sometimes see that there are some errors getting reflected in the search console. For example, let me just show you a live site where we have this uh, recipe schema markup added on it. And here we can see it says guided recipe with one error and videos with one error here. And if we click uh, on this uh, link, we can see it got one error that is one issue and the error it says missing field upload date. So from here it's clear that we have not entered a particular value of a schema markup which is in the video schema markup and that's why we are getting this error. And if we click on this error and if we scroll down we will see the exact URL of our website where this error is happening. And we can go ahead and copy this URL. We can open that in a new tab. So now we know where this error is so that we can go on this page and see what mistake we have done in adding this schema markup so that we can fix that. Now, if you have seen our previous videos where we have added different schema markups on our WordPress website, the first thing we do after adding schema markup is to test the URL of that page of uh, maybe that blog post or maybe that website page in the Google tool that is rich result test. So for example, if we just use the same website link where we saw this um, video uh, schema markup error and let's go ahead and test it here as well. So this tool is going to read the code in the web page and check for the schema markup that is added on this uh, page. And if there is any valid schema markup, it will show that and it will also show the errors and warnings. So here we can see it says six items detected with some invalid. And here we can clearly see that the same guided recipe and video schema markup got the errors. And if we click on this video and this um, video schema markup, here we can see the same error. It says missing field upload date. So it's very clear that in this particular URL, we have not entered upload date for entering the video schema markup. So we can go back in this blog post and go ahead and edit this schema markup and rectify this error. Now the most important point that we need to consider here is that why this error happens and how we can avoid this. So right now we can just go ahead and edit the schema markup and uh, rectify this error. But the question is we are getting this error in search console. So if we just go ahead and add the schema markup on any page of our website, it's very important that we should use this rich result test tool. Check the URL then and there if there is any error in the schema markup detected or not. And if it is, then make sure we rectify it then and there before submitting that URL into search console for indexing. So this will save us a lot of time and we will not see any error in search console. So right now we can see this is the error in the schema markup field. We can go ahead and rectify that. So let me give you another example here in this uh, sample uh, WordPress setup. We have this um, how to schema added. We have just installed this uh, new schema type, but we have not added this schema on any of the blog posts or pages. And you have seen the same thing in our previous video as well, where we have added the how to schema. 
Now, if I go ahead and open this uh, URL or copy this uh, blog post URL and test it in this rich result test, here you can see that it clearly says that one invalid item detected. And if we go in the error section, it says missing field step. That is when we are entering this how to schema, we have not entered the required field step. So now here we can clearly see we have a missing field step error and three warnings which are optional. So you can ignore if you do not know the data about these supplies, total time and tool, but we cannot ignore this missing field step error. So it's very clear. We now need to go back on this page, edit this page and and if we scroll down, we need to modify this uh, schema markup so that we can add the required detail or edit the schema uh, data so that we can rectify that error. And here it's clearly visible that we have not added the steps. That's why we are getting this error. So for example, if I just go ahead and add a sample step here, and if I just update this blog post and come back here and refresh this test and now it's again giving us two errors and I did that deliberately so that I can show you more errors. What are the possibilities? So here it clearly says missing field name and step must be defined at least two times. So these are the errors we need to rectify. We need to come back here and then fill up all these text. So we just copy this text here and fill up these details. So this was the error. It says missing field name. And here we can clearly see that in the name uh, field, it's blank right now. So it's better we add some detail here. So now after adding two steps in this how to uh, schema, we have just entered the random data like a video thumbnail, video URL. So I've just entered any random uh, data here. So now once we do the refresh of this rich result test, we can see it says two valid item detected with some warning and here it says video schema markup done perfectly fine and the how to schema it's also done fine but with some warning and again we have two warnings missing field tool and missing field supply we have not entered that data that's why it's showing this warning and these are the two options here we can add the supply as well as we can enter the tools uh, data as well but we can leave that because it's optional. You don't have to enter that. This is not going to show any error in the search console as well. So the point here is that when you add schema markup by using a plugin, like we are using schema and structured data for WP and AMP, the plugin from Magazine 3 itself. So once you add schema markup with help of any plugin, so if in case you get any error in your search console, you can easily fix those errors by filling up the data in the fields that are provided in the plugin itself. But when you enter this schema markup by hand coding the schema markup and entering every detail in the code, there is a high chance that you can do data errors like you have, we have seen that it says data missing or um, we missed the steps name. So these kind of mistakes are very common. And number two, it's very likely that you will be doing syntax error. There are a simple semicolon or bracket or anything can go wrong if you are not a hardcore coder. So for a general user, this can be a very daunting task to create schema marker by copy pasting the hand code thing. So when you enter the schema marker with the help of a plugin, you will only get two type of um, errors in the search console. That is a red mark exclamation, which is the actual error, which will only happen when you miss to enter any data. And the second thing is these warnings, these uh, yellow color warnings, which are actually optional. You can skip that. So other than that, if you enter all the details correctly using the plugin, it's very unlikely that you will get any error. But if in case, if there is any error, it's better to use rich result test tool. You can test the URL here. You can see if your schema markup is um, showing any error or not. And before even sending this URL for indexing in search console, you can fix that right there by the help of this rich result test tool. So make sure you use a plugin to enter schema markup on your WordPress website. And if you are not a coder, then definitely plugin will help you enter the right schema markup so that you can avoid any errors in the search console. 
And even if you use hard code or maybe use plugin, make sure you use the tools like rich result test tool from Google itself so that you can fix those schema validation errors right there before you send that for indexing in search console. So if you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to watch more videos related to schema markup, make sure you go ahead and watch our complete playlist. The link is in the I button above and the video description below. And if you want to watch more videos related to WordPress, then go ahead and subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you will get notified whenever we upload our next video. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one.